Hi there, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and I would like to welcome you to Chad Chat. What is Chad Chat exactly? Well, basically, it's me sitting in my apartment doing a weekly video blog detailing certain things that my tutorials don't seem to quite cover. This can involve many different things, mostly regarding questions that I receive from my viewers. For instance, this week's topic is on Adobe Flash and Anime Studio. Which software is better? Well, I'll discuss that, give my opinions, and then you can take it from there. My goal is to do one of these videos each week, and I'll be answering questions that I find on YouTube or questions that are sent to me personally. I'll give you those details at the end of the video so you can send the questions to me. But for right now, let's get started. So, which software is better, Anime Studio or Flash? Which is easier to work with? Which provides the higher quality of production values? Well, what I'm going to do is go through and give off some features that I think each product does well, and then I will offer my opinion. Just keep in mind that this is only my opinion. It doesn't mean that it's fact. It simply means that something works better for me than something else does. And that might not be the case with everyone. In fact, I'm sure it's not the case with everyone. However, I am asked this question a lot, which I think is better, so I'm gonna give my opinion. So, let's start with the basics. What is Flash and Anime Studio? Well, they are both vector-based animation programs. Basically, you are allowed to create animated stuff in each of these programs. Now, where the difference comes in is the tools and the features that each software offers. For instance, Anime Studio was created to be an animation-only software, meaning it was made in mind for you to dive in, animate characters, create scenes, and basically create a movie that you could stick on YouTube or you can put on DVD and so on. And that's basically where it ends for Anime Studio. Flash, on the other hand, gives you a lot more options to work with. Not only can you create animations, but you can also go beyond that and create animated interactive features, such as websites, games, mobile applications. The list is really endless because with ActionScript, you can program whatever you want. And that is the power of Flash. You have that animation aspect, but underneath all that, you have a whole bunch more that you can work with. Now with that said, Flash is much more expensive than Anime Studio, and that is because it has a lot more to it, not to mention Flash is a very well-known product. So when you are deciding what to purchase, one of the factors is, of course, price. Now, is Flash worth the money? Well, it depends on what you're going to use it for. Are you going to make games? Do you plan on publishing applications for the Android market or for your iPhone? Do you plan on making websites that are interactive? Or do you just plan on doing animated cartoons? If you plan on only doing animated cartoons, you may want to look at Anime Studio first because of the price alone. It might do what you want it to do. So I would recommend that you check out demos of both softwares. But again, if you're planning to do animation, really look at Anime Studio and look at the tools and see if it's suitable for you. See if it is what you want, if it's going to do what you want it to do. Now, from my perspective, from being a Flash user and moving over to Anime Studio, I still use both, but just making that transition, I find that Anime Studio's tools, when it comes to creating cartoons, allows me to quicken my workflow as well as create higher quality animations. And again, this is based on how I animate. I very much rely on the bone tool between these two softwares. That's just how I like to animate. So I like to create my characters, rig them up with bones, and basically control them like puppets. That's how I've always worked. That's how my animation style has always worked. And Anime Studio is perfect for that. 
It was built around that concept so that you could create something and just get up and running very quickly. And then you can spend the additional time basically polishing it up and making a really tight project. Now Flash, on the other hand, is more suited for frame-by-frame -frame animation. Anime Studio can do frame-by-frame -frame animation, but it wasn't typically designed to do that. Even though you can do it, it contains onion skinning and all that, but it's more for bone animation. Flash gives you a bit more control, I would say, when it comes to frame-by-frame. -frame. Flash also does have bone animation, but it's very limited, especially when you compare it to Anime Studio. Also, Flash has the ability to tween, um, which Anime Studio does as well. But basically, Flash is more open for you to pursue how you want to create your cartoon. Anime Studio, on the other hand, is more suited for the bone type animation. So again, it more depends on your type of animation style and what you're looking for in the product. So in the end, here is my opinion. If you are doing cartoon animation only, especially if you are new to doing animation, I would check out Anime Studio. It seems to be more user friendly and it seems to just provide a higher quality right off the bat. If you are looking for something more, if you are looking to add interactivity to your cartoons, if you're looking to create mobile applications, websites, games, or anything that is interactive, I would recommend that you take the plunge and get Flash. I would also recommend if you do get Flash that you check out one of the CS Creative Suites because that will allow you to save money as well as get other Adobe products that will help you when creating your Flash applications. For instance, when I make my cartoon animations, I always use Adobe Premiere to edit. I actually never do any of the editing of the sound, of the special effects, or anything like that in Flash or Anime Studio. I always use an outside software to do all that post-production stuff. In the end, it doesn't really matter what software you use as long as you're comfortable with it. As long as you like the tools, and as long as your workflow works, <laughs> then I would say that it's good for you. So if you have an opinion right now and you're mad <laughs> because I don't agree with it, that's fine. I want you to continue to use that software that works for you. Again, this is my opinion. It's not fact. Anyway, that concludes this first episode. I know, wasn't it awesome? And you can, you now had a slight tour of my apartment here. Um, for future episodes, I would like to hear from you guys. Um, what questions would you like me to answer? What opinions would you like to hear from me? You can go to chadchat.incrediblettutorials.com and view all the episodes that will be coming up. You can also go there to contact me as well. You can keep up to date with me on Twitter. I also have Facebook and Google Plus pages, so be sure to check those out and post your questions. Or you can leave comments on YouTube, and I might just pick up on them and answer them in a future episode. So anyway, I plan to tweak this format as I continue on with it, but hopefully it'll catch on, and hopefully it will be of benefit to some of you out there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.